You're listening to the Cross Site Radio. Radio Show. What up, y'all? It's your boy Indo. Uh, Electra B and Be Easy, we're here in the house at the Cross Cypher Radio Show. We're, you're tuned into the liveest radio show right now. It's going on. We'd like to blaze the truth to the hip hop culture in a relevant form. And uh, we're just bringing it here, you here today with um, this message that God has uh, on his heart. We got some new music for you from Be Easy. Hey. Hey. So <laughs> check that out. And uh, I just want to open up with a prayer real quick. You know, God has uh, been putting some things on my heart and just stirring that up, too. And uh, so I'm going to share with some of those things with you, you know, God permitting. But uh, let's, let's just open up in prayer right now. So, Father, we just thank you for what you're doing, Lord God, in uh, the ministry. Lord God, here today, Lord God, with Be Easy and Electra B, Lord God, we just thank you, Father God, for bringing everybody here safely, Lord God, and whoever's um, tuning in on Facebook, Father God. We pray that the message would penetrate their heart, Lord God, the message of the songs, Father God, the, the testimonies, Lord, of overcoming, Lord, the victories, Lord God, that have been won through the cross. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for what you're doing. In Jesus' name, bless this show. Amen. 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 So we're here live with my man, be easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing? Man, I'm blessed. How about yourself, sir? I am blessed in all seasons. Awesome, awesome. And God is good. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Actually, uh, I was, I was, the reason I say that to, in all seasons, I was uh, reading a, a message this morning, and I was, uh, it was actually uh, something sent to me from Kenneth Copeland. So I, sometimes I get those, sometimes I read them, sometimes I throw them out, but today I happen to come across that. It was really good. It was about Jesus when he was in the boat with his disciples. Okay. You know, and uh they were they were going through the storm and they were freaking out. Mm -hmm. You know, they were going through all that turmoil of the waves and the the wind and everything and they're like Jesus was asleep. On it was it says in the Bible he had his head on the pillow yeah. underneath the deck of the ship. Mm -hmm. And he was resting. And the disciples were freaking out, and they're like wondering what's going on. Does he even care what's going to happen to us? And so they went and woke him up, and he said, "Don't you don't don't you know like how much longer am I going to be with you guys? Like, yeah. why? And don't you don't?" And so the message was they weren't aware that love was actually on the ship with them, uh -huh. that he loved them, yeah. that he cared for them, that he he did care for them, but they, they weren't aware who was with them on the ship. Yeah. Wow. And so God is with us in the situation, the circumstances, the trials, and the storm. That that through any season, that's why God God's really been burning that in my heart. Is that through any season, you know, it's always a good season. Oh, it's either yeah, it's a growing. We have to have growing moments. Oh, yeah. uh, we have a, you know, uh, we have a, you know, God, good moments. So we have growing moments. Yeah. But we have an yeah. opportunity to look at it and change our perspective. So from that, you know. I, uh, I I was listening to some of your songs, uh -huh. and I, I'm excited for what you what you're bringing today. And uh, some of the songs we we have with us is uh, "Look at Me," yeah. uh, "Jealousy," oh, yeah. and uh, "Heaven or Hell." Oh, man, heaven or hell. <laughs> so uh, just the titles alone, I could see like, oh yeah, there's message message uh -huh. in the title in itself alone. And uh, "Look at Me," like I'm thinking, oh yeah, like. So uh, I don't know if you want to break those down, and, and uh, we'll go just go on a little more. And plus, we got Electra B in the house. Yeah, we go always have really talks with Electra B. Yes, that's indeed. That's, that's yeah. my sister right there, Electra B. Man. Yes, I, I met B Easy. Was it a uh, year and a half ago? Oh uh, yeah, the Kevin Nash um, J Spot event. Yeah, uh, Soul yes. Cafe. Yes, and, and I've heard a lot of his music, the oh, jealousy yeah. piece. Oh my goodness, that's like one of my favorites. <laughs> I love watching you perform oh, thank those you, pieces. Thank you, I mean, thank you. just he's so engaging. And yeah, so let's yeah let's get right into to what's the first one? Uh, look at me. Look at me. Look at me, look at me, look at me. So, which y'all want to play it or y'all want me to talk about it? I want you to break it down a little bit and then we'll just drop it on them. That inspired you. know, the, the, the whole breakdown, the look at me, was pretty much a song. Uh, just thinking about when I was younger, when I was a teenager, like, you know, me and my brothers, we, we like to swag out. Like, mm -hmm. even my cousins, we like to look good. Right, right, right. You know, tennis shoes, you know, urban wear, you want to say urban wear, suits, ties, you know, we like to look fresh. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I just feel like Christians can look fresh, but most importantly, serve God. That's right. You can carry yourself well. You can look good, but most importantly, glorify God while yeah. looking good. 
To me, it ain't nothing wrong when you present yourself in front of a king such as Jesus, the man, God up above. Yeah. You should look good. You should yeah. present yourself looking good. So just saying that young Christians out there, don't feel bad because you got swag. Embrace Ooh. your swag. That's yeah. pretty much look at me was all about. Yeah, yeah. That's really interesting to me because um, I know uh, you um, are very active in your church. And yeah. You do a, a lot of things in the ministry and you're close to your pastor. I remember kind of back in the day um, with tradition where, you know, uh, in some churches you had to dress a certain way. Uh-huh. I mean, the women, they couldn't wear any makeup. They couldn't wear any earrings. You know, what do you think has changed um, from back then with the appearance of what it means to look good for the Lord as, as it is to now. You know what? I, I think the main thing was trying not to run people away. Hmm. You got to think like back in the day, like if women didn't wear stockings, women, other church women looked at <laughs> them as being fast or being right, hot. Right. You know, uh, these old fast women in church all that. <laughs> Why she sitting here with, with no stockings on? I got to wear stockings. That ain't right. And you know, right. bylaws right. at certain churches. Like I remember growing up in my church. I think until I was like 15, women had to wear dresses or skirts to, dr- to wow. church. Then I think after a while, then they're saying, okay, you know what? If we're losing too many members, mm-hmm. we're turning people away too much. You know, we're going to kill that because it's not in the Bible. Right, right, right. <laughs> it was just the church bylaw saying, okay, women have to wear dresses or skirts. So then when the pastor at the time had abolished that rule, you could see the attendance and people start, well, especially women, start coming more in pants and, mm-hmm. you know, just being themselves. So. I honestly think appearance is necessary at church. You got to be respectful. Yeah. Got to be respectful. You know, women, men, right. you know, pulling your pants up, not sagging. I have that bad sometimes. You know, I wear skinny jeans. I'm a big, big tall guy, but I try to wear my little slim jeans. And sometimes I may sag a little bit. But trust me, my wife and the other people pop me to, hey, pull your pants up. So I have people that's on my head all the time. It has to come. It's pretty much. <laughs> welcome. Yeah, come right. get your little wedgie or something like that, but. No, nah, you know, to me, it's just presenting yourself. You, when, Whenever you come into church, or I put it like this, if you're at a job interview, mm-hmm. you're going to dress up the part, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. So if you're at church, why not dress up the part? Why not oh, look good. a certain way? And it's funny you said that. Like, um, like I, I got appointed um, youth director maybe two weeks ago. Wow, and, that's so awesome. You know, trust wow. me, tremendous. Because, you know, it's, it's not to throw any shade or not to be mean or malicious, but... I remember growing up at my, my at my childhood church, you know, just because I had tattoos, mm. just because I had, you know, Jordan's on and yeah. other stuff like that, I was like, oh, he ain't he ain't in leadership position, mm. you know. But I, I've I've joined my church down the Mount Pinnacle Church in the city of Compton. My bishop told me one of the reasons he made me you directed because I wear Jordans. Yeah, wow. funny, you know. <laughs> but not saying that's the only reason why. But he told me, you know what, you. You reach the kids, you know, you reach the generation that I can't reach, that other people in the church can't reach. And they look up to you and they see you and they see the way you carry yourself. And they like, hey, be easy, where's Jordan? Be easy, where's the latest trends or fashions? I I got the brave fade, the the, my man bun, you know, but I'm still at church every Sunday. I'm still in attendance. I'm still doing what I got to do as a Christian. And I think that's the problem. A lot of times people don't try to reach the masses you know the church we have to reach everybody the church is a hospital we have to we have to heal those that are in need so we can't turn those away just based off the way they're dressed or the way they carry themselves if a woman comes in with a short skirt you know what instead of judging that lady pull her to the side be respectful say sweetheart you know what you're at church i don't know what your situation is but you know we're gonna work on that Here's my number, or you know, here's my contact. Get at me. We gonna fix it. Same thing as a young man. As a young man coming there with a baseball cap on, coming there with, with with a jersey on or something like that, and he got his music up loud on his phone. Don't, hey boy, put that. Don't, don't, don't come at him with the roughness. Right, right. Finesse it. Hey, young man, let me speak to you for a second. Hey, bro, man, how you doing? God bless you. Thank you for coming. Thanks for being at church. Absolutely. But hey, you know, man, we have a little dress code, man. You no, know, no, no baseball cap. It's a nice baseball cap. But hey, when you're in church, take your baseball cap off, man. Be a little wow. bit respectful. And I'm telling you, I guarantee you that the results will be different. Wow. That's good. That's good. You know, I think it's that that love that brings people brings people in. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, the other stuff pushes people away. All the rules, regulations, all that little, you know, stuff. Uh, most definitely, stuff. man. I, I, I totally agree, you know. Um, sometimes rules, they're good. You need rules in life. Don't yes. get wrong. You need rules, but sometimes some rules are just man, like to the point where like, come on, no, no flexibility. 
Yeah. You can't you, you can't you can't meet me halfway or meet me in the middle. Right. So, you know, to me it's funny, me and my bishop had this talk uh, yesterday about flexibility. Mm. And I, I think I think that flexibility can change the culture. Wow. I think flexibility will change the culture because as Christian rappers, as spoken word artists, as a Christian rapper, we can't always approach the situation in that manner. Like I can't always look at a situation as a Christian rapper. You can't always look at the situation as a spoken word artist. Sometimes you just gotta go in there as a Christian, as a man, a woman of God, and you gotta just finesse the situation. That's all I'm gonna say is finesse it. Flexibility and finesse the situation. Don't go so hard. <laughs> I love that. Hey man, well let's go ahead and get give them this song. Yes. Look at me. Yeah. Um and this is a get into it we'll talk a little bit more about that once we we dive into the meat of this yes yes you yes, know? yes ah people do people it is but it's just low he's, he's trying to mess with the levels and stuff they be like look at me look at me they be like look at me look at me they be like look at me look at me I'm so safe I'm so fly Yes, I rep Jesus, head of my life. Swag on point, say what an naughty great son of a king. When I enter them pearly gates, it's about to go down. One, two, three, call me the champ, cause I claim the victory. I once was lost, but now I'm saved. I gotta thank Jesus, cause he made a way. I'm open, cast and fresh, from head to toe. So act like you know, you gon' reap what you sow. The devil goes ham, I'm a go hammer. Pumps in the bumps, but not in that manner. This beat it's bananas, I'ma go dumb Play your rap, you ready for that day that Jesus come So if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready My soul so fresh, so low to the old me I'm so oh. fresh, I'm so fly You know I ain't perfect, but Lord knows I try It has been my flesh, yes it must die All glory goes to God, we prove it's Satan a lie Holy boldness, we rebuke being shot See the heavenly places, so why should I lie? If you a new preacher, tell your past by you a new creature, tell your best bye. I'm so fresh, I'm so fly. You know I ain't perfect, but Lord knows I try. And ask for my flesh, yes, it must die. All glory goes to God, we prove it's Satan a lie. Holy boldness, we rebuke being shy. Seated in heavenly places, so why should I lie? If you a new creature, tell your past bye. If you a new creature, tell your past bye. Hey, new kid on the block, cause I got the right stuff. Faith on another level, no, I can't. Stop, she likes the way I move She feeling what I say Swagger on point, Jesus made me this way I'm waving at my haters Need the inspiration, pray for my haters No hesitation, I'm way too blessed God gave me purpose, Psalms entertainment Haven't you noticed? Tell them haters bye-bye No, I'm not in sync Yes, I love Jesus No matter what the others think I'm on to the next one This is my third mixtape Can't fight the feeling Yeah, this feeling feel great Glory be to God Giving God my glory no, I'm not a victim. He gave me authority. Too old to be a young, so too awesome to be great. Only DJ in the sky is Grandmaster J. I'm so hey. fresh, I'm so fly. And no, I ain't perfect, but Lord knows I try. And has to be my flesh. Yes, it must die. All glory goes to God. We prove it's Satan a lie. Holy boldness, we rebuke being shy. See the heavenly places, so why should I lie? If you a new creature, tell your best bye. If you a new creature, tell your best bye. I'm so fresh, I'm so fly You know I ain't perfect, but Lord knows I try And ask for my flesh, yes it must die All glory goes to God, we prove it's Satan a lie Holy boldness, we rebuke being shy Seated in heavenly places, so why should I lie? If you a new creature, tell your past by If you a new creature Yeah, 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 we're back with Be Easy, Electra B and that was look at me, man. That was yeah. look at him. So he's wow. looking so fresh, so fly. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit ain't, a, you know, the exterior, you know, the out, you know, the outer should match match your interior. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I, I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> if you gonna have a new man outside, then put some new stuff on the outside. Hey. Uh, that's all I'm saying. That's all you do. That's you know. <laughs> He ain't lying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, I love that. Actually, he used to have a song called uh, 
fresh is so clean. So, okay. And I said, you know, clean, fresh white tea. It was a it kind of cause of, you, you know, me, I used to sport my fresh, crispy white, white teas, teas oh, and my, my fitted, you know, and people used to judge me coming into church. Ah, man. Wow. Like <laughs> Crazy, man. But that, that's how I be, man. You know, you, I, I look at it this way. As long as the T-shirt is fresh and crispy, what's the problem? If it's dirty, then say something to it. If it's crispy, what's wrong with it? Crispy, yeah, yeah, man. At least it's clean. You know, you ain't coming yeah. in stinking and funky. You know, exactly. if you exactly. clean, hey, cleanliness is next to godly. Exactly. That's right. That's right. <laughs> You've been speaking of judgment. I know you uh, mentioned that you just got promoted to uh, being over the youth. Yeah. Um, as like a youth pastor. Well, or? not a pastor. You know. You know, most Christian rappers, they want to become ministers. I, I'm, that's not my calling. Okay. I'm not saying that God will never bring me to that. Okay. But right now, no, that's not. I'm not a minister. Okay. You know, I, I do Christian hip hop. I, I speak the goodness and I rap about the goodness, but I am not a minister. Okay. Not, well, not, not yet, at least. I, I, I don't know what God has in store for me, you know. But just the awesome. youth director, pretty youth much. Youth director. Yeah, get, getting the youth together, uh, pretty much. Be, being the voice, being mm-hmm. the ear, most importantly. For being the voice for the generation at, at my church and pretty much just organizing events, getting getting um certain just getting the just getting the, the functionality back into the church with the kids, wow. trying to get like little um youth studies, mm-hmm. trying to take them out for like events, like you know, fun events. Like when I was a kid, man, we had fun, we just go to golf and stuff, we go bowling, we go, you know, get get food, have more fellowship. And I think that's one thing in the body of Christ that we don't do. We don't fellowship more. So just so trying true. to get that get that social life and get that fellowship because we got, we got social media platforms. We feel Absolutely. like we can't come together. And like right now, I'm feeling the love being next to you too because we're fellowshipping. We're here talking, Absolutely. conversing, speaking about the goodness of God, you know? Absolutely. What would you say to a youth that said, um, you know, the reason why they don't fellowship is because they felt judged before in the past? Like how would you as a youth director approach um, that type of conversation. Well, see, the most important part is just being the ear. Okay. You know, a lot of times, you know, we, we deal with issues, but we, we, we always got the advice. Hmm. Nah, see, you should have did it this way. Nah, but see, if you trust God, if you lean on the... Wow. Sometimes, and not, and not saying that's wrong, but some people don't want to hear that at that moment of time. Maybe that kid, maybe that young man, maybe that woman, that young woman wants to say, you know what? I'm being bullied at school. I have a group of girls that say I'm ugly or I'm fat or I don't look a certain way, mm-hmm. so I don't fit in. So therefore, we we should be the the ear first before we can be the voice. You have to hear them out. You have to get to the root of the problem. Mm-hmm. I think that's the biggest problem. We are well, what God? You ain't got no problem, okay? <laughs> but somebody might just want to just want to vent and and want somebody just to hear them out. Yeah. If you think about depression, if you think about suicide, most people. They, 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 they succumb to that because they feel like nobody hears them. They feel like nobody sees them. So as a youth director, I want to let the youth at my church, and it's not even at my church, youth, period. Young adults, period. If I'm somewhere at an event rapping or somewhere, like I've had quite a few young people, young men come to me and tell me, hey, man, your song touched me. Your song, your song blessed me. And I, a lot of times I felt selfish because... There'll be a time I'll be at an event and I really didn't feel like going to that event. Wow. Or I'm tired from work or, you know, me and my wife doing house chores, tired, you know, but I'm like, I still got to go minister, still got to do my music. I go do my music and I'm just like, man, I don't want to be here. I'm so tired. But then after I get off stage, I get two or three people come to me, hey, brother, your song really touched me, man. Wow. You know what, man? I was dealing through depression. I was dealing with some of the things your songs was talking about. And thank you, man, because I feel like your song is a voice. For, for my voice, man, and trust me, as, as an artist, as a young Christian man myself, it really makes me feel good. You wow, know? yeah. So how young are you? Let's get it. Well, yes, yes. <laughs> well, people, we you know, know you're fresh, but you how young? I, I, I get mistaken for in my 20s a lot of time, but when I tell people I'm 34, they be like, what, you're 34? Wow. Tell people, no, no drinking, no smoking. That's how you do it. Stay stress free. Stay say no to drugs. Yeah. I'm an advocate for the Dare program because when I was growing up in the '80s and '90s, Dare scared the crap out of me. Made me wow. not want to do drugs. <laughs> made me not want to drink. So therefore, I'm not saying that I don't drink. You know, it's to the point. Hey, in a social environment, me and my wife, we might have a glass of wine uh-huh. or something like that. I don't drink it to be excessive. I'm not one of them right. super holier than thou. Don't, don't, don't indulge in them type of things. <laughs> Never right. that. I'm just saying, be responsible. That's Absolutely. all I'm saying. Yep, yep. Awesome. 
That's good, man. I, I like, love to hear that. You sound like a mentor, a leader. I'm trying, man. man. I'm you're, trying. You're leading the path. You're blazing the trail. I'm trying, man. For people, man, and set, it, set them on the right path, the right steps. You know, you talk a lot about you're talking about a lot about relate your relationship with your wife. Yeah. You know, and that seems like it's playing a lot of a, a role. And you know, you're going into your next song, which is called Jealousy. Ooh we. You know, <laughs> you know, you obviously Ooh, got wee. the wife. You know, but now, but was there uh, times that you were battling in that as you're courting jealousy, or even in your marriage now, going you, out and doing shows and stuff, you get jealousy. You know coming what? Up. I put it like this It's more jealousy With other artists Than it is my wife Wow oh, <laughs> just, Haters just, just, to, just to be honest Like you know Dating my wife That's one thing I can say about my wife What I love about her She she knows what it is Wow You know She I like when, You know When I dated When I first started dating my wife You know I had insecurity problems I had problems That I didn't trust women You know Because the past I, You know I, I wasn't the best guy Okay I can openly say that I wasn't the best young man You know mm. I, I, You know But I can say meeting my wife when she was my girlfriend at the time, it learned it, she she taught me how to love. Mm. She taught me how to respect women again. Wow. And it, it, it showed, you know, it showed me that if you love a woman truly, if you mm. truly love a woman, mm. you're gonna trust her. Mm. You can't love nobody without trusting them. Wow, say that. You, you know, I say it again for yes. from a girl let you be. You can't love nobody if you don't no, trust, trust them. them. You yeah. gotta trust them. So I, I trust my wife. I love my wife, so therefore I can say there's no jealousy. Now, there's one thing I'm jealous of her. She hey. know I'm jealous of her because she's such the Bible scholar. Like my wife, uh, and she's, she's so beautiful, so and beautiful, so loving, and she is, and I say a Bible scholar. Yes. <laughs> like she always, she always joke like you you love tennis shoes you you know all these tennis shoes I'm like yeah but trust me I will give my knowledge up for tennis shoes <laughs> in sports to be more knowledgeable in 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 the Word of God. Wow. So therefore. Speaking of jealous, I would say I'm jealous of my wife because she is a Bible scholar. But I'm gonna get there though. I'm working on it. We are gonna get there, baby. Shout out. I think to my that's wife. a that's a healthy jealousy that stri- pushes you to get more oh, yeah. in there. You, you gotta know? get there. And like I, like I was saying, you know, with the song jealousy, it, it, it pretty much came from a lot of industry hate. Mm, yeah, wow. it, it came from you know in the city of L.A. You know, we always get a bad name. I, I, that's one thing that I want to stop for 2017 is stop bashing the city, especially the gospel scene, hip hop, Christian yeah. music, period. Stop bashing the city of L.A. L.A. will love you. L.A. will support you. But you just got to give L.A. good Christian product. All right. I said it, uh, product. Yes, not, stop. Not, 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 not the chitlin circuit, not, not the chicken circuit type <laughs> events. You got to give L.A. something good to look at. That's mm-hmm. how L.A. people are. We Christians, but you, mm-hmm. you go to these big concerts, you, you just want to see a good quality event, good quality show. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm lobbying for 2017 to be the year to stop bashing L.A. Yeah. But like I said, the song Jealousy pretty much came from just a lot of industry hate, a lot, a lot of other artists, you know, you, you, you think you're fellowshipping with, wow. you, you think you're hanging out with, you think that you're you're building something with. But then, you know, they try to find stuff in your past. They try to find stuff that you wear or wow. this and that, talking bad about you behind your name, you know, behind your back, bashing your name, just jealous because their music may not be appealing as yours is. Yeah. You know, we, we as artists, we all have our lane. We all have our good niche or our bad niche. Right. I try to stay in the middle. I try to stay in my lane. I don't try to be better than nobody. I try to be the best, be easy, but it seemed like trying to be the best, be easy, ain't good enough for some people. Wow. So that's what prompted the sound of jealousy. That's good. That's good, man. Because you see that a lot. I've actually been to other states. You know, I lived in Minnesota for uh-huh. a few years. I've been in Michigan. I've been, you know, different places. But it seems like L.A. has always had that competitive, especially in the Christian. You know, yeah. I think there's something... Cause there's a lot of co- you talk. We talked about community and yeah. churches, you know, within the body of Christ. I think we need to have that, you know, community sense uh, of community I within agree. the artists, you know, to come forth, you know, where we're not afraid to uh, push each other, or even not even to the sense where you have to push each other. Just don't be and throwing no, shade it's, on people. It's funny you said that, though, because I, I think about an event when a, a guy. I was talking to a guy mm-hmm. about Christian hip hop. 
And mind you, this is a guy. He he. Um, I, I'm not. I, matter of fact, I'll be. I'll be honest and transparent. It was my tattoo artist. Okay. Right. <laughs> I was getting a tattoo last week. I was getting an angel on my arm. I'm obsessed with angels. Oh wow. Yeah. I, was getting okay. a, I was getting an angel uh, touched up on my arm. You got on the angel shirt. Hey, hey, turn hey. Up. Angels. Hey, we in Anaheim too. Anaheim. But no, you know he 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 did secular hip hop. Okay. And he's like, so be easy, man. I heard you know I've seen you on your Instagram, you know, and stuff. So what is Christian hip hop? So I was breaking it down to him, like, hey, this is what Christian hip hop is. He go blam, blam, all this, blam, blam, all this. Okay. The thing that got him was all the artists that I named seemed to be non Cali, non LA artists. Mm. You know, like I, me, me personally, my favorite Christian hip hop artist is Andy Minio. I'm a big okay. Andy Minio fan. I love Andy Minio. I think he's the best, wow. in my personal opinion. I think he's one of the best in the game. So I'm telling them all these artists. Like, I'm telling them about the Lecrae's. Tell them about the, um, about um, Cannon. I'm telling them about wow. all these other dope artists, you know. And he's like, okay, bro, you know, I'm a secular artist, and I'm from the West Coast, bro. I ain't heard you say nobody from the West Coast. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, there's dope artists out here. Right. Like I told him, I said, it's just to the point when we just don't know how to back each other. Because everybody want to be the king yeah. of L.A. Everybody want to be the best rapper. All right, I'm going to lead the pack. Y'all get behind me. Or it ain't going it ain't, it, it, it ain't to function without me. And that's that's where we go wrong. Wow. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's to the point when it, it, in order for it to prosper, in order for L.A. to produce that one artist. Because when you look at it, we don't have an Andy Minio. We don't have a Lecrae. Not saying that the artists are not of quality. We just have them back. That one artist like that. Yeah. Right. In the sad part about it, it's like that in every function of LA. It's like that with gospel singers. Yeah. It's like that with gospel dancers. I'm pretty sure it's like that with spoken word artists. Yeah. There's a lot of phenomenal spoken word artists, but everybody wanna be the best. And to me, it ain't nothing wrong with wanna be the best, but mm. we can be the best, but we can also pour into each other. Agreed. I, I think that's the biggest problem. We don't pour into each other because we're too busy trying to take the reins ourselves trying to become the top dog ourselves instead of everybody just trying to be at an equal platform because as Christians we are taught nobody's better than nobody nobody's God God is the highest standard yeah so why when it comes to music we try to be the highest standard yeah I think what it comes down to is people are getting their eyes off of the cross off of Jesus exactly wow. you know because if you, we really focus on the cross even if you call yourself Christian gospel you know contemporary pop whatever your genre is yeah right. you know if you're get focusing on so much of this business part of it uh -huh. that you're not focused on heaven you're gonna lose your way you're gonna lose <laughs> you're gonna definitely. lose it and Most there's a quote definitely. by C.S. Lewis my pastor just quoted it this Sunday and it really touched my heart it says if you're if, he said if your um, aim is for heaven then you'll get earth thrown in. Wow. But if your aim is for earth, then you'll get neither. Wow. 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 So that's what's happening. <laughs> a lot of people are aiming for to rule on this earth. Uh -huh. And they're saying they're kingdom minded when they're really trying to build their own kingdom. Exactly. You know, they're not trying to build God's kingdom. Exactly. You know, not trying to grow, expand the kingdom of God. You know, then you're wondering why your, your ministry is not having an impact. You know, it's not growing like it needs to be uh -huh. because your focus isn't on pleasing God. It's on pleasing maybe your fans or pleasing yourself, you know, or, or just attaining your, your own little and goals. I, I can openly, I can be transparent to be honest. Like yeah. being a younger Christian hip hop artist, that was like, you know, it was about me, 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 me. Absolutely. I didn't care about nobody else. Uh -huh. I want to be the man. Right. Like before Lecrae, I want to be the best Christian rapper. I want mm -hmm. to be the first Christian rapper to win the Grammy. That was my personal goal. Wow. But of course, that didn't happen. That's because my mentality was wrong. And I've noticed, like, since I've since I, I've checked myself, mm -hmm. that, that's the biggest problem. People don't know how to check themselves. Say I that. checked myself. I looked myself in the mirror and I said, man, hey, B, what are you really doing this for? Mm -hmm. are, are you doing this to give God the glory? Are you really doing this just, just to look mm -hmm. popular? Or to look like you the big dog? Or to look like you the man? Wow. And I noticed once I checked myself, mm -hmm. I realigned myself and got myself back into, like you said, following the cross. Yeah. TBN. <laughs> yeah. Countless like booking events, booking yeah. radio shows, wow. just doing a lot of things, like dropping another album, putting on for my city, doing concerts, doing funding my own concerts and doing my own concerts at my church. God has opened so many doors, bro. Wow. Yeah. It's to the point because I put God first. I took myself out of the equation. That's it. It put God first, man. And like I said, Amazing. the possibilities 
will always be endless. I think also wow. even on the artistry side, like we don't need a lot of people sounding like Drake. No, we, we don't. don't need a lot of Christian artists trying to sound like you know whoever J Cole or whoever uh -huh. else is popular at right. the moment. We don't need a bunch of Kendrick Lamar's running exactly. around. Right. Christian Kendrick, we need the best be easy there is. We I'm need trying. the best <laughs> electric beat. We need the best end. We need the best artist that's gonna come out best because you. when it's your time, you know we need people that are gonna be authentic and real. Right. You know, and that's that'll show through in the music, whether you're a Christian or you're not a Christian or whatever you call yourself. You know, however you're perceiving, you, you want to attack this thing. Uh -huh. You know, but if you're the best at who who you are, uh -huh. it's gonna show through, and people recognize. It's like what they say: real recognize real. Absolutely. So if you're bringing the real you out and you're putting that out, people are gonna see it. And people no, and, and I, I totally agree with that. And I, I even look at the whole point of life. Yeah. Like I, I have a seven year old son. Wow. And mind you, my son, he does not like rap. He, he's not into rap. Even though daddy raps, he not, he's not into rap. But like I always tell my wife and I tell my son, I don't want him. If, if he doesn't want to be a rapper, he does not have to be a rapper. Right. I just want him to be the best young Brandon he can be. Yeah. Like my dad. My, my, my dad was a bass player. My, my dad sung. Like I say, my dad had vocals. My dad could sing. Wow. He could play the bass. But that wasn't me. And my dad always said you know what, son? Be the best you. You can't be me. There'll right. never be another Bruce. Be Brandon. And that's all I try to be. I try to be the best Brandon I could be. Wow. I can't, like, like, like the guy featured on, on Jealousy with me, L.A. Louie. It's only one L.A. LA. Louie. And mind what you, up, LA that Louis. dude is dope. Oh, yeah, that dude is phenomenal. Fire. He's a phenomenal artist. I, I'm, I'm lucky and blessed that he's my brother-in-law. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I always get the perks of that. But, you know. He, he might be one of the best rappers, if not the best rapper in L.A., but wow. I'm B-Easy. Yeah. I know what I can do. Yeah. I know I know the God I serve is awesome, so therefore, yeah. I'm going to always put forth my best effort, and I think other artists should do that. Yeah. Yeah, this artist might be better than you. Yeah, this spoken word artist might be better than you. Yeah, that rapper might be better than you, but that don't mean you be jealous. Right. Mm -hmm. That don't mean, hey, I'm going to hate on this person. I'm, I'm, I'm going to not invite them to my event. I'm going to not do nothing with them. Hey. Invite them to your event. Show love, man. I think the biggest thing is with artists and with Christianity, show love, man. If, if, if we can bring love back, man, the possibilities will be super endless, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm I ain't going to keep answering about it, man, but it, it's, 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 it's. Let's bring him. Let's hit him with that jealousy song right here. Let's be easy. Jealousy on JC316 Radio. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah, yeah. Y'all mad? Jealousy, jealousy. Why they so jealous of me? Is it the J's that I wear on my feet? People be throwing me shade. People be wanting the tea. Why the devil always gotta play with me? Pause. Let me breathe slow. Drop to my knees and let the Lord know. Please, Lord, pray for all my haters, all my doubters. Success makes me greater. Yeah, let's say that favor ain't fair, boy. So I am seeking God's grace. I know that victory's mine When I do finish this race Gotta keep a steady pace and keep my head low Gotta watch out for the gangs and the popo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why the black always hot? All the black, all black violence It gotta stop black lights Only matter when it's taken by a cop Politics, government, they blame it They don't hip-hop Wanna talk about jealousy Homie got the green eye No errors, homie, homie Time to gain, realize I can tell by the way that they look at me In the church, in the streets, even the industry Why they be dissing me? Never really know why Maybe cause I'm low-key Never really socialized Look at Jesus, Judas, Caesar, Brutus Jealousy is Real, but we're all been through this Cause I do this for my people And I put up for my city Do it for my block Homie, holla if you hear me Yeah, easy be putting in work Easy about to go in About to go berserk Cause be steady in the world Ready for the world Gotta keep it 100 Jealousy is for the birds Hands up high, high, but the top down low. Yeah, high praising real quick, 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 but the thing ride slow, slow. I be putting in work, work. I don't do it for the block though. 
with a summer soul for a thing. So when you see the chain, it will come from the rock, bro. Woo! Smell when I'm cooking. If they ain't jealous, then they show be looking. Under arrest by the spirit, so my soul's in booking. That's the reason why the shows be booking. My pole be hooking. Ones who be stole top cooking in the projects on the Pyrex, boy, looking out the window with the bando. Just in case they come in with the things, got a scramble. And bro, the alley is Christian to go somewhere and be sentenced. Can't enjoy this living because we done been caught the witness. Her intervention is needed before the system can see that we in the press of what they say or what they're feeding us. Every time I'm looking, it be shade thrown. Cause we chilling in the church with a J zone. Okay, I ain't gonna play homes. If you put Louis on the track, know that thing go up. I ain't got no time to play with you or waste with you. Bold in the spirit, so no problem facing you. Only time you see me with my head down when you around. If I'm singing grace with you, show you what faith to do. I grab what's suspected, past the projections, they pass the rejections. But I live in the truth, not for you died in the booth. So the flow resurrected faith just. Stopping grind for it. Wouldn't stop my shine for it. No love, no love, no love. Let's see all the ways we be rolling. Let's see all the things we be holding. I know you gon' stare, but favor ain't fair. Don't know what to tell you. Allah, Allah. Like Allah, Allah, Allah. Yeah. All of you just because we are the it factor. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. So we're back with Be Easy. That was yeah. jealousy. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, we've been talking a little bit off, off, uh, ca- off camera, off, but it's been good. And we're ready, ready to come back with the uh, God's, you know, be right here. God's best sixteen, uh, sixteen bar challenge. And we got a citizen of heaven right here. So he's been telling us a little bit about himself and uh, and what God has been doing. A little bit about the industry too. You know, we've been talking off off a uh, line right here. <laughs> it's good, man. <laughs> what God is doing, and uh, I think we're you are ready. We're ready to see change happen. We're see, ready to see kingdom of God expanded. You know, in different in different ways. You yeah. know, in heaven. You know, bringing heaven to earth. You know, bring letting people feel that atmosphere. You know, and we need to be the people that channel that that love and channel that bring a, a atmosphere of heaven wherever we go. Yeah. Whether it's on the stage, whether it's in you know, the community, whether it's going to the store, I think that should when we have that lifestyle. Yeah, you know, it, it'll come overflow. Uh-huh. You know, John ten ten talks about a lifestyle that that's a, a lifestyle that's a life of abundance. Right. And a life of over overflow. Actually, I used to be a youth director too when okay. I was in Minnesota, and my oh, our wow. teen ministry was overflow. Okay. It's called overflow. Wow. So shout out to the overflow Yo. youth ministry in Minnesota. A man Baltimore is out there right now leading that group. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man. So that's the lifestyle that that we want to cultivate. You know, to bringing people into a state where in Colossians three four it talks about a life that's in glory. You know, my uh-huh. my my name means in glory. Indicus means in glory, or people wow. call me Indo. Okay. But it must be my heart condition. We're striving to press into bring an atmosphere of heaven. You know, when when uh, we when Christ who is our life appears, and we appear with Him in glory. Okay. So what does that look like in reality? Is like when when we show up, Jesus should be in the, be right there in the midst. Amen. That's what that's why I say when you go to the store, you know, when you go to a show. You know that 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 atmosphere of heaven should be cultivated in a sense when that that you show up, Jesus is there with you. Yeah. You know, and you get to share in His ministry. You know, that's the honor that we get as believers is we get to share in the ministry of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And like your first song said, we could put a little swag on it. We could yes. put our. He takes our style yeah. and, and he, he takes everything that what pe- some people what might have perceived as as dirty before. Uh huh. Wow. You know. But what I like to tell people is he takes our dirt, you know, he forms something beautiful out of it, like he did with yeah. Adam and Eve. Well, he could take what Actually. people looked at as foul or, you know, secular, yeah. and, you know, and God takes that and brings it and redeems it and restores that wow. that culture, that, that mindset, takes off the, you know, the ba- the really bad stuff, keeps you with, you know, stuff that that's a good culturally, good mm-hmm. for your system. And I think that's a... You know, even missionary minds. Yeah. You know, a lot of cultures. Like, if you go to a Native American community, mm-hmm. um, a lot of times they're not receptive to Christians because they've been proselytized. You know, they've been mm. they've been put to a state where Christians coming in there, they want to come get them to conform, and they 
You know, they, they've even raped the women. And, wow. and California has a history of where they took over the Native American tribes and they, they raped the women, kill, you know, killed off the men, took the women, and took all the, the boys and the younger kids and, and they made them look like what, you know, Eastern European Christian Christians look like. Mm -hmm. Christians wow. look like. So that's what the same type of mindset and frame comes into when you're trying to do bring people in from a, a, a different culture, yeah. which is a with secular environment or say a Native American community, and you're trying to say, well, you have to wear a shirt and tie, and you got to wear this and that, and you got to do this and that, and do that, and make them wow. jump through all this rigmarole stuff wow. is really you're you're prostituting them uh-huh wow. you know you're 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 breaking down their mental structure like she electra b has uh stuff about you know tra sex trafficking and that type of mindset mm -hmm. you know on some of her spoken words and that's really the type of mindset that is being brought into the church because really the church parts of the church are really more focused on building an economy that's going to be Develop them as a, as an economic force, yeah. Rather wow. than building a, a kingdom of God community of people that are God minded and kingdom minded, wow. you know. So uh, I don't know why I got on all that tangent. Oh, no. that, it's <laughs> funny because that's no, something no. I love about you. Like um, I feel like you go against the grain. Like yeah. you you're not bound by the politics. Like that stuff doesn't phase you. Like you said, you you know TBN reaching out to you this and that. Now I know you do a lot of events on your own where you're bringing in the flock you're, yeah. the harvest is right you out there laboring bringing people yeah. so tell us I know you did rep uh, rep my city which was amazing yeah, yeah. and I know you have a, uh, yeah. an event coming up please tell us about that oh yeah uh, this Sunday uh, June 4th 2017 okay. at 5 p.m. at the Mount Pilgrim Church in the city of Compton that's 400 South Santa Fe Avenue um, in Compton California we will be doing our second. Well, this is my second time doing it. Um, wow. 2017 Youth Rally. Wow. And man, yeah. like last year we had a great time. I, I just wanted to change the atmosphere because I remember the first Youth Rally I did in my church. It's kind of boring. Okay. Kind of, kind of dry, kind of dead. And I said, you know what? Nah, man, this it's a Youth Rally. This this for the kids. We we need to make it. You know. Not, I don't want to say entertaining because I don't want people to take that the wrong way because okay. we don't want to take away from the ministry of it but we want to make it appealing hmm. we want to make make it fun make, make, you know the way you get kids is you show them that it's fun you know you show them that being a Christian is cool show them that being a Christian is fun as well so I just want to bring you know the live DJ want the music the lights you know wanted them to have you know not, not too much secular music but you know dan clean dance music uh -huh. so the kids can get loose have fun but most importantly, you know, get the word of God up in there. So pretty much just rallying for the youth, getting the youth together. June will be starting uh, Mount Pilgrim's um, our youth month. We have our also our youth revival starting um, June 27th, I believe. Uh, Michael Fisher from the Great Greater Zion Church will be our uh, guest minister uh, bringing our revival wow. this year. So we have a lot of things planned for June, and the, the best is yet to come. What made you start doing youth rallies? You know what? There's nothing really in particular that made me do them. You know, just growing up, I, I, like people don't know, I'm a church boy. I grew up okay. in church. You know, like my, my mom, it was, she still is. She's a church administrator. Mm -hmm. So, and my dad was a, a bass player and a singer. And uh, my two brothers, my older brother was a drum player, and my, and my middle brother is like a audio technician, like whiz. So, you know, the foundation was put there in me as a kid. You know, church. I, I just know June. As Youth Month, that's how Be Easy started rapping. Was June? Uh, was June Youth Month? So I, everybody knew at my at my childhood church every June, I was gonna have a, a new rap. <laughs> at the wow. age of 13, 14, 15, 16, I always had a new song. I always had something to present for Youth Day, and that just blossomed to me becoming a Christian rapper. So wow. just just knowing that June was just a good month, a good Youth Month. Me being at my new church, you know, I just saw that there was a need. There, there was a little tender love and care needed, so I just took the initiative. It ain't like nobody asked me to. Wow. It ain't like nobody appointed me to. It ain't like nobody begged me to. I took the initiative and said, you know what? Last year, I said, you know what? I want to do something for the youth. I want to I, I want to give them something. I want to show them a little bit about Christian hip-hop, give them a little taste of the culture, nah. good culture, show them that yeah. there are, you know, because most people... Christian hip hop, okay, it's just regular rap, huh? You guys talking about the street life, huh? No, there's a lot of different topics. There's a lot of different, like you were saying, there's a lot of different type of artists 
that that are that that will appeal to different type of crowds. So therefore, I want to show people that Christian hip hop can adapt to any situation in any type of crowd, in, in anything that you're going through in life. Christian hip hop can be the way. And wow. I honestly feel that Christian hip hop is probably the most Christ, most popular Christian music in in the world right now. Yeah, wow. you know, like you have you have gospel singing. You have every, I think Christian hip hop right now may be the foundation. I think that we are putting a lot of good work, you know, with wow. the youth. And, and with the outreach ministries and stuff like that, so there was nothing really that just said, "Okay, be easy. You're gonna do you." I, I, you know, it had to be God because I, I I didn't I didn't wake up and say, "You know what? I'm gonna go tell my bishop. I'm gonna go do a youth rally." No, <laughs> it's just something that hit me, and I told my wife. I said, "You know what, babe? I wanna I wanna do something for the youth." So she's like, "Okay, we'll do it. Tell him you wanna do it." That's the type of person my wife is. She's like, "You wanna do it?" Okay, put the work in, go do it. <laughs> that's good, that's good. You were saying that in that sharing that story how you always had them bars. I wanna see if you have some sixteen <laughs> bars right yeah. now. I'm gonna drop know, that. I ain't the best rapper, but I do a little bit. I could do something, you know, whatever yeah, y'all yeah. want me to do. You know? All right, all right. I ain't scared. <laughs> we're gonna drop this beat on you right here. Let them know if you need a little bit more in the headphones. We're going all the way live. This is that sixteen bar challenge with be easy. Be easy. Yeah, cross cypher radio show. Yeah. 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 Easy come, easy go, boy. Easy come, easy come, boy. Nope, nope, never, ever dope, boy. Hey, I'm going to drop back. Never come. Let's go. Endo. Electra B. Let's get it. A. A. On the darkest corners in the deepest alleys I walk with no fear I know that Jesus got me Ain't a game banger No, don't slang dope I rep the Holy Son Yeah, with him there's hope My heavenly father The one up above I give him all my praise Cause I show him all my love With every step I take With every move I make I thank God I'm awake Every time I awake Yeah, you get the picture boy You get the point fam Everything I'm not, it makes me everything I am You can't be something that you're really not I bet y'all 10 out of 10 that you get caught Just be yourself, let God do the rest He's a lawyer in the courtroom Pencil to your test, you got drama in your life He'll take away your stress, you got pain in your life Oh yes, he'll do the rest, oh yeah, that was Be Easy with there that 16 bar Woo! challenge. You tune into the Cross Cypher Radio Show. Yeah. All the way live on jc316radio.com. Yeah. That's how we do it, man. Blazing the truth to the hip hop culture in a relevant form. We've been talking about culture. Yeah. We've been talking about different aspects of ministry and different aspects of this industry and life in general. And it's been a blessing to have Be Easy here man. in the studio yes. with us. And uh, man, that we could be here for another hour or so, <laughs> yeah. but uh, you know, we we got one more song from you, and yeah. it's called "Heaven or Hell." Oh man, and we're ready to break on them right now. Man, and uh, before we leave, I wanted to give you opportunity to to give them a little bit of message, to give them a little bit of your heart. Maybe you have a little bit of message behind this song too. You can share with that, and maybe even a little prayer if that the Lord puts that on you your heart. You know what? Just just you know, let, let's. Let's stop all the silliness. Let's stop all the games. Like me and my girl, you let you be say, let's stop the politicking. Yeah. Let's get back to the networking. Let's yeah. get back to the fellowship. Yeah. You can't you can't build a community without the fellowship. You gotta be able to talk and communicate. So let's stop all the nonsense. I ain't gonna say stop the violence, increase the peace. But mm -hmm. let's 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 just come together as the body of Christ. Let's let's start doing more things together. Let's Let's do more events out here in Anaheim. Be yeah. easy. Want to start doing more stuff out here in Anaheim? Yes. I'm gonna get Indo out there to Watts. I'm gonna get him yes. out there to Compton. I'm gonna get him out there to South Central. We gonna we gonna unify. Like I, I love DJ Cali. You know, yeah. people are oh, you he annoying. I love Cali because Cali is about uni unity, yeah. unifying. He takes some of the greatest artists and unify them. Wow. That's what. Why, why can't we unify the body of Christ? Yeah. Why can't we do that? You know what I'm saying? Heaven or hell. It's a choice. Yes. It's a choice. You make decisions. It's a it's 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 a it's a game plan. You you can either make those choices that's gonna send you straight to hell, <laughs> cause that's where you're gonna go. If you, if you ain't got God ahead in your life, if you ain't got God in your heart and in your mind and your spirit, you ain't walking right. That's where you go. I don't care how many church services you go to. Yeah. I don't care how much Christian hip hop you claim to know. 
<laughs> if you ain't living right, you're going down to them pits. <laughs> it's, it's real. <laughs> Hey, 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 you you, you can recite. I'm just telling the truth. You, you can recite every Bible scripture. You can know every Fred Hammond, Kirk Carr, or Ty Tribbett song. If you ain't living right, you're going to hell. If you ain't doing right, you're going to hell. So I just want to offer you an opportunity to get your life right tonight. Get it right this moment. As my wife will always say, don't wait. Don't wait till tomorrow. Do it now. So you can do it now. You can give your life to Christ right now. You don't mind bowing your heads and close your eyes for a word of prayer before we drop this song, Heaven to Hell. Heavenly Father, I just want to pray for everybody to this evening, all the people tuning in, all the people watching right now, Lord. Just, just heal them right now. I don't know what they're going through, Lord, but you put me here on this platform to pray for them, Lord. Just give them the proper knowledge. Give them the proper guidance, Lord. Just keep them in your will, Heavenly Father. Just pray for the world right now. Pray for our world leader right now, Lord. We don't know what's on his mind right now, but we probably know what's on his tweets. But just, 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 just ease his mind, Lord. Change that man, Lord. Change this world. Change this nation, Lord. If it's in your will, Lord, just, just have your way in all of us right now, Heavenly Father. I ask you many blessings, your darling son. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. 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 And give us traveling grace too as we travel home or wherever you're going. Amen. <laughs> Let's be easy, man. Yes, giving you that awesome prayer, and we're gonna drop heaven or hell on them. And uh, you know, heaven, it's heaven. your your option. What, what you gonna choose? Yours. I'm ready for my close up, G Money. As we proceed to give you what you need. Let's go. Jesus Christ indeed. Hey, gotta make it to heaven. I've been living in hell. Life is taking me under. I want to scream and yell. Gotta make it to heaven. I've been living in hell. Life is taking me under. I want to scream and yell. Yeah. Gotta make it to heaven. I've been living in hell. Life is taking me under. I want to scream and yell. We not destined to make it. We killing one another. People plotting and dealing. They trying to take us under. These sinners living foul. That other liar cheat. My knowledge too strong. Cause I'm a G. Jesus geek, I love my enemies, I love my haters too, I love my family and friends, they can be shady too, I choose the God's music, the task is far greater, these dudes are living well, he ways I follow my creator, it's always for no man, the world will keep on turning, I'm walking heavy streets, these lands can keep on burning, the only good thing, it's never too late, to give your life to Christ, he'll fix all your mistakes, I am a child of God, and no I'm not ashamed, I'm lifting Christ first, I praise his holy name, gotta make it to heaven, I've been living in hell, life is taking me under, I want to scream and yell, gotta make it to heaven, I've been living in hell, life is taking me under, I want to scream and yell, heaven and hell fam, oh, the choice is yours, the devil steady blocking, blessed Jesus open doors, gotta make it to heaven, I've been living in hell, life is taking me under, I want to scream and yell, I am a Christian, and no I'm not perfect, I gave my life to Christ, and yes it was worth it, indeed I fall short, I have so many demons, some bad Drinks and drugs, my battle be with women Like lace potato chips, I'm needing more than one I gotta work on myself and raise my younger son I gotta change my ways, I am a role model Don't need to get like me, double tap, like and follow Call me the chosen one, I rock the status proudly I am a child of God, them lanes can never doubt me Heaven or hell fam, oh it's very clear I'm walking heaven streets, these dudes just stay right here Gotta make it to heaven, I been living in hell Life is taking me under, I wanna scream in I gotta get mine, can't worry about yours The devil's steady block your blessings, Jesus opens doors Gotta make it to heaven, I've been living in hell Life is taking me under, I wanna scream and yell Gotta make it to heaven, I've been living in hell Life is taking me under, I wanna scream and yell Heaven or hell fam, oh, the trust is yours The devil's steady block your blessings, Jesus opens doors Gotta make it to heaven, I've been living in hell Life is taking me under, I wanna scream and yell I want to scream and yell. I can't Halloween, take. so yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're back, and that was Be Easy, yes, Heaven or Hell. Wow. Which one you gonna choose, man? Choice he was turned up on that one. That song was pretty lit, so, you know, I like that. You know, uh, do you wanna give any shout outs, maybe producers or anybody like man, that? Man, I gotta give a shout out. Uh, like like my bishop said, you gotta shout your wife out, cause I gotta come home. Somebody, right, baby? Yes. Shout outs to my beautiful wife, Christy Williams. I love you, dear. I'll be home shortly. Hope that, hope that burrito bake is ready. <laughs> Cause I'm starving, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but awesome. awesome. I want to give a shout out to my bishop, man, uh, Bishop R. D. Sanders, and the whole Mount Pilgrim Church, man. Thank you guys. I love you guys for all your uh, support. 
thank you for entrusting me with, with the youth. And like I said, this Saturday, June 4th, 2017, at 5 p.m., be in the place, Mount Pilgrim. Come to the cathedral. We will be there. We're going to have cake and punch for you afterwards. Some of y'all like cake and punch. It's free. The event is free. I don't like charging people for none of my events. I just want you to come, have a good time, fellowship, network. Yeah, yeah. My girl, Electra B, going to be in the house bringing that oh. spoken word, doing what she do best. I ain't performing, but if I got to, I might hit the stage. But it ain't about me. It's about Jesus. It's about the youth. We're yes. going to turn out into my mama. She probably watching. Hi, mama. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. What's well, good? <laughs> Yeah, well, you tuning in to the Cross Cypher Radio Show. That's Be Easy, Electra B. We always have a good time right here. Tune in every week. We have an archive of a lot of our programming on our Facebook page, which is Cross Cypher Radio Show. Also, can find us on Vision Media Label, where we are archiving those. Uh, also, right there, a lot of replayed, edited versions of the yeah. 16 Bar Challenges and some of the other programs that we've had on uh, on here and other people, artists that have come through and visit us here at JC316 Radio. So, we want to thank you once again for coming yeah. through. Oh, here. Most definitely, so man. It's been and a I'm, blessing. I'm working on some new music, so. I would love to come premiere here, man. Yeah, oh, definitely. Man. Let us, come let us here. hear that. We could play it on the station. We have most a definitely. stream playing all the time, and we do most got definitely. some events coming up, so the show. we'll keep you posted on hey, those. Most definitely. Likewise, sir. Likewise. See, networking people is Fellowship. so beautiful. <laughs> Fellowship, people. We got the kingdom. <laughs> all right, man, man. Good having you. We're out of here. God bless you. Peace. Peace.